Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, lecture. Today we're going to talk about the um, factors and remainder theorem. So uh, you guys probably um, seen this before. Um, this is the general rule, okay, for the factor and remainder theorem. So I'll just go back, uh, just go step by step on what are these terms uh, represent. So um, this term here is the this is the factor, okay, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, this is the um, the quotient, the quotient, and obviously uh, this one will be the uh, remainder. Okay, so what does all of this mean? Okay, so if we do a, a simple division, let's say six divided by three, and we write that in the long division form, yeah, so that will be three. And 3 times 2 is 6, 6 minus 6, remember this has to be a minus, equal, uh, equal 0. Okay, so let's go through this uh, step by step. So, now this guy here, that's the, quote, uh, that's the Px. Okay, and this guy here, that's the quotient. And this guy is the remainder. Okay, now this will be the factor. This is the factor. Okay, so what is this useful? Um, this is very useful if you are dividing uh, polynomials with a factor. Okay, so let's look at an example. If I say px is equals to uh, x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now we all know that this will divide uh, this will divide into x plus 2 and then x plus 3 okay so let's just see if I can use that long division let's see if I can use this uh, this long division here and come up with uh, the other root so for example if the question tells you that okay uh, if if x plus 2 is a factor what is the other factor now again just a, a reminder now if you have a power of 2 that means you have two factors okay which two brackets okay so let's divide x plus 2 into this whole equation so x plus 2 into x squared plus 3x plus 2 okay now the first thing you need to do is to eliminate the highest power eliminate the highest power in here okay in this case the first power I need to eliminate is actually x squared okay so what do I have to multiply this thing by that I will get x squared so simple that will be x right because x into x plus 2 is equals to x squared plus 2x, right? So I put it in there, x squared plus 2x. Okay, now keep in mind that this is minus, okay? So you actually, so, so it's that minus that, okay? So that will be 0, 3, uh, th positive 3x minus positive 2x, that's x, and then you drag what's remaining which is 2 so it's x plus 2 now what do I have to do to eliminate the x here what do I have to do to eliminate the x well I just have to times 1 right because 1 multiplied by x plus 2 will give me x plus 2 so that's plus 1 and then x plus 2 equals 0 so we've just found out that this quotient is another factor because I will have a remainder of zero. Okay, okay, guys. So um, let's look at another example. I uh, just made a mistake here. That should be um, three. All right. So let's divide this together. So we have a factor of x plus three. Okay, guys. Um, just just a 
a clarification. Um, it's only you can only call this not uh, uh, this thing a factor if your remainder is zero. Okay, so sorry, I couldn't, uh, I cannot say this is a factor just yet. We have to see. So let's go back. So x cube plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 12 okay what do I have to multiply this by this number this uh, this function by by x squared then we can eliminate the x cube right so x squared in, into x plus 3 that will give me x cubed plus 3x squared so let's write this down so x squared into x cubed plus 3x squared. Now keep in mind guys this is net this is minus. So you're actually minusing the whole bit. Okay? So that will be zero. Uh, positive two minus a positive three. That's just basically uh, two minus three. So that's minus uh, minus x squared minus 5 all right now um, let's continue so what do I have the times this function by uh, this function this function by so that I can get I can eliminate negative x square simple that will just be negative x because uh, ne negative x into x plus 3 that will just be negative x squared minus 3 x okay so so write this down so that would be x square negative x square minus 3x all right now again minus guys this is a very common mistake that people do is that uh, they don't realize is the whole thing is negative at the bottom okay so negative x square minus minus a negative x uh, minus an x square that will become zero and then negative 5 minus minus 3 that will, that will just be uh, negative 5 plus 3 so that's negative 2 and then you drag this thing down All right so that will be plus 12 so this will be uh, you multiply this by negative 2 because negative 2 uh, into x plus 3 that would just be negative 2x minus 6 okay so that will be negative 2x uh, minus 6 right again everything is negative at the bottom don't forget so that will be 0 uh, uh, 12 minus minus 6 that's 18 plus 18 Okay, so we've done, we've finished um, dividing. So what does this all mean? How do I put this back into the uh, into the factor remainder theorem? So what was the factor remainder theorem again? Uh, it is p x equals to a factor or a function times your quotient plus your r. Okay, so what, what was my um, what was my function? My function was uh, this guy, so that should be here. My quotient is um, this guy. My quotient. This is my quotient, and this is my remainder. So I can put this back together. That will just be x plus 3 uh, what's my quotient uh, x squared minus plus oh no minus x minus 2 plus remainder 18 okay okay so uh, if I evaluate this I'll get back exactly what I just started with which is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 12 Okay, so that's the whole um, method of how you use uh, factors and remainder theorem. We'll go through some more uh, examples in the future, uh, in, in the later 
in the later lectures so um, if you have any questions again just drop me a, a message in the discussion board and I'll get back to you as soon as possible so see you guys in the next lecture